Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and welcome to this episode of Ask Raghav. In today's session, I am going to take up a question asked by Saili and she says, can you please tell what challenges to be faced while doing performance testing? Saili, thank you for asking this question. And this is a very important and a very general question. If you are doing performance testing, you should take care of several things. And in this session, I will discuss uh, what things you should take care of and what are the challenges you will face. The very first thing is, uh, you will face challenges in understanding the requirements for a performance test project. And this is very, very important. This is a very important phase. And if you make any mistakes in understanding the requirements, it will cost you a lot because any mistake done here will drill down to your complete project. And if you find out the issues later in your project, it will be very difficult to fix or it will be very costly to fix. For example, uh, if you have uh, uh, misunderstood the requirements and you have created the entire performance test plan or the performance test scripts accordingly, then it will be very difficult to correct all these things. It can also happen that based on the requirements, you will select the performance testing tool. And if you have to change it later on, it will cost you a lot. So you have to take care here, you have to understand the requirements very, very carefully. You can ask all the questions, whoever is giving you the requirements, the team or the person who is giving you the requirements or the client, you can ask all the questions like what is the requirements or uh, what is the requirement for performance testing? What are the scenarios? What is the user load? What is the expected user load? What are the different distributions of load you want us to test the application with? And you can ask all the questions you have. So take care here. Then uh, the second thing where you will face challenges is when you will create the baseline. Now baseline is the metrics, the user load against which you will uh, run your performance test and will compare your performance test. For example, you will have some metrics, some analysis, analytics for a uh, user load, like what is the metrics for single user load, then 220, 30, 40, 100, 200,000, 2000, and so on. Now, it may also happen a lot of times that you are not given a baseline and you have to create the baseline yourself. In that case, you can run the test with different user loads, starting with a single user, then you can go to 10, 20, 50, 100,000, and so on, and document the performance at each of these user load. And then you can take an average of multiple tests and create a baseline. And this is what you will, uh, this is your baseline and you will compare all the subsequent tests against this baseline. Now, before going further, once you have created the baseline, uh, take a sign off, uh, show it to all the stakeholders and then take a sign off that this is the baseline I'm going to use and I will be comparing all my tests against this baseline. So this is very important. The third challenge you will face in selecting the tool and platforms. And here again, you will have to uh, take care. You can implement your knowledge of performance testing, or you can take help from your seniors or from people who know performance testing, and you can decide for this particular application what performance testing tool should I use? Should I go with JMeter, Gatling, or some other tools? So you can uh, apply your knowledge or take help from your team and then very carefully select the testing tool and platform. Then uh, creating the performance test plan and scripts. This is very, very important. You have to create your performance test plan like what will be the test, what will be the scenarios, what will be the user load, how frequently we will test, when we will test, how we will communicate the results, what will be the formats and everything. So take care here, take help from your team and again, take a sign off on all the documentation formats you will be using and the entire plan and the scripts you will be creating. Then uh, the environment and infrastructure, very, very important. For a performance test plan, always create a separate environment. This environment should not be used for any other activity, for any other testing process, or should not be used by anyone else. It should only be used for performance testing. This is necessary so that you can get consistent results every time. And your result, uh, the, the network, the bandwidth should not uh, hamper your results or should not make any issues in your results. So this is very important and the infrastructure needed, the, the hardware needed for your testing. This you can take help from your NetOps team, from your admin team, from your networks team and take care of the infrastructure needed. You can also get your production environment and see what is the infrastructure of the production environment where this application will be used and you can accordingly create the infrastructure. And then uh, you have to take care of 
analysis, reporting and communication. So reporting is very, very important. Uh, here, you will have to take care of what should be the format of reporting, how exactly you will communicate the results, what will be the columns, what all user loads you should be showing in your reports and the complete format. And then you should also understand what, how you will be communicating. Will you be sending out reports after each run or you should be collaborating all the runs and then we'll be sending out a single report. All this you have to take care. Now here, uh, you can take a screenshot of this screen and keep it handy with you. And then you can look at it multiple times so that you understand all these different phases and challenges and the things you will have to take care. Now, few suggestions for performance testing. Always create a realistic performance test plan. And by realistic, I mean, allow some breathing time between requests, allow some gaps between requests. In real world, the users will not be uh, you know, using the application like a robot or a machine. They will be doing something, some activity, having some, uh, they will be having some spaces in between, some idle time. And similarly, you can allow breathing time between your requests. And if you use any performance testing tool like Gatling, JMeter, or any tool, you will have options to allow this breathing time. So you can have some ramp up and ramp down time as well in your requests. Also take care of the environment and the system. So uh, as I have already discussed, always create a separate environment which will not be used by anyone else and also take care of the infrastructure where you will be running these tests. It should be according to the actual production environment that will be used by the real users of the application. Then some good practices in any testing project, performance testing project, uh, always do testing on a separate environment. This I have already discussed. It should not be used by any other activity, any other person when a performance test is running. Uh, the infrastructure should be according to the production environment. You can take help from your admin networks team. Uh, have think time between requests. This we have already discussed. Having ramp up, ramp down time is also very important. Uh, so do not start directly with 1,000 users or 500 users. You can start with a single user and ramp up accordingly as per the requirements of the application. Always have, have a baseline to compare your test against. So if you run your test and you say this is the performance or this is the the average time, the mean time, median time, this is the latency, but what you will compare it against, how you will say it is good or bad. You should always have a baseline and then you can say that this performance is better or this is not good as per the baseline. And then focus on the areas that really needs performance testing. So this you have to discuss with your team, with your client, with the requirements and see what are the actual areas that needs performance testing so that you do not waste your time in just testing everything. Just take care of what areas really need uh, performance testing and always document your result. So whenever you do any performance test, always document your results for all the user loads and then you can have it communicated with your team. So these are the few areas that you can take care of while doing performance testing and these are the challenges and how you can overcome. If you have any questions for me, you can let me know in the comment section below and I will take up in the next episode of Ask Raghav. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.